Hi everyone, uh, I want to ask you a question today. Did you ever go to a store and see flower and you're thinking how beautiful that flower is and you want to buy it, even that you don't know where you <laughs> will plant it in your garden? Happened to me every single time. And what happened this time, I got all these coleuses at different stores, different time, and I brought them, oh, sorry, truck. I brought them home and uh, I just put it in this little flower bed. And I cannot really plant them here because I have rain pipe going here. And even um, what space is left, I cannot plant it because I have roots from this bush and roots from the tree. Don't let me grow. Let me show you what I got here. I got this guy and his name, oh, today is windy. <laughs> and his name is Pink Plotion. Very beautiful. I got this one. And his name is a French court. And if you put together, they're very look alike. I don't see really too much difference in them, but I guess different one. This guy, oh my goodness, I love it. And his name is Kong Scarlet. So beautiful, such a bold leaf, such a big and beautiful colors. I love it so much. Okay, next one. It's this little guy. He's so skinny and he don't have a name. This guy, oh my gosh, look at these colors. Look at these colors. And his name is Inferno, I Inferno beautiful leaves and look at contrast they're none of them same and that's what beauty of a coleus they're none of them same this is a coleus mix i have two in here now a lot of gardeners is uh, cutting off uh, flowers stems um, because i don't know they don't like them or what i like in it this little beautiful blue pop of blue purple color so beautiful i keep it on it next one is this one and this one has a one two three four different colors in the one mix and this guy i got him in the spring and it was four inch can i planted and it grew up five times bigger the size what it was original and yes i kept the flowers on it because i just i love it anyhow so I'm gonna put this all this colis in the bigger pots with um, potty in a spoma soil and then I put here and I'll show you how this little bed will transform with colises. Stay tuned. Well, I think it's look very stunning now. It's so beautiful, all these colors. It's just gorgeous. This is how it's look when you walk by. And you know what? It's a fall, close to Halloween. I guess pumpkin would be perfect. Oh my goodness, look at all these colors. Isn't there beautiful? So I plant all my colors in different pots, different size. And uh, it will help uh, colas not fall down so easily with the wind. And another thing, it's perfect uh, to put the colas in the pots and you can put like underneath of a tree because you know roots are very tightly growing underneath of a tree and if you want some flowers there, it will be perfect because pots, first of all, it's have all minerals and all stuff what you need for the plants and watering easily and plants don't have to be fight over water so this is one of a tip that perfectly you can use for in a place where your soil is very bad or underneath of a trees that will be just perfect okay thank you for watching my video see you next time bye
Thank you.